A 1 kg object strikes a wall with a velocity 1 meter per second at an angle of 60 degree with the wall. So this is the wall <coughs> and this object okay this is 1 kg and it is traveling with 1 meter per second. <coughs> This makes an angle 60 degree with the wall and it gets reflected back. <coughs> okay. So this is 30 degree and this also will be 30 degree. Reflects back at the same angle. If it remains in contact with the wall for 0 0.1 seconds, then the force exerted on the wall. So this is 1 meter per second, this is also 1 meter per second. So <coughs> P initial is equal to 1 kg into 1 meter per second. Okay, now we resolve it. So this is 60 degree, this is 30 degree in I and J. <coughs> this is 30 degree. So cos 30 degree I cap plus sine. 30 degree j cap p final is equal to again 1 kg into 1 meter per second <clears throat> minus cos 30 degree i cap plus sine 30 degree j cap so therefore pf minus p initial which is the change in momentum is going to be minus 2 okay, cos 30 degree i cap into 1 kg into 1 meter per second <coughs> now uh, because like this this and this is the same you know the j component is the same so therefore this is the delta p now force is equal to delta p upon delta t which is equal to minus 2 cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2 into uh, 1 kg meter per second divided by 0 0.1 second gone gone so this is 10 root 3 newtons okay so therefore a is going to be the answer.